हेलो फ्रेंड वेलकम टू मडीन इंजीनियरिंग हब दिस इज अ नरेटर रवि गुप्ता टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट मैन बीएमडब्ल्यू इंजन रिवर्सिंग इन टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न व्हाई द कैम इज डिजाइन इन दिस वे इन मैन बीएमडब्ल्यू एंड हाउ मैन बीएमडब्ल्यू इज कैरीड कैरिंग आउट द रिवर्सिंग इन अ हीट एंड एक्शन मोशन एंड आफ्टर दैट आई विल सी how we will know that reversing is completed or not so today video going to be interesting so please remain tuned till last before beginning the video i must tell you that i have made the reversing mechanism series in three part this is a part 3 in part 1 i have explained the lost motion angle of the cam sub in part 2 i have explained the reversing servo motor right now in i button you can click and you can go to the play section and you can watch that two part as both part is very interesting and is very knowledgeable for the reversing mechanism now let's move to the part 3 man bmw engine reversing so as i have told you in my earlier video that the lost motion angle of a cam is carried out to compensate so that to adjust the cam in such a way that the fuel pump cam is ready for actuation in a head or aston direction but that mechanism is been followed by the soldier lost motion angle of cam but man bmw instead of going of so much of complication of moving the cam over the cam shaft by installing the reversing mechanism man bmw has simplified the design and instead of moving the cam man bmw is moving the follower so same thing i have written it in here in man bmw engine reversing mechanism is not carried out by lost motion angle of cam instead the follower of fuel pump is moved by required angle by air operated servo motor means this air operated servo motor is moving the follower not moving the cam if the cam is stationary if the lost motion angle is achieved by moving the follower depending upon the direction of rotation we will see later first let us come to the interesting part that why such design of the field cam is needed as you can see this cam has a two peak one this and one this why such design is needed the reason for the shape of the field pump cam which is designed to raise the plunger on the injection stroke and keep the plunger at the top of its stroke while the follower stay on it the peak of the cam until before the next delivery stroke when the follower return to the base of the cam the fuel pump plunger move down to the suction stroke so basically this two peak is provided such that that whenever the follower is moved means the roller follower is moved on this hair or hair it which of your peak means suppose this peak is mainly for ahead direction or this peak is for aston direction so if the engine is running in ahead direction at that time the follower will be here and which and this will be the peak point for the follower but when the engine is in aston direction at that time the this will be the peak for the follower and this will be the peak for the follower for the aston direction so for that reason two peak cam is been implemented by the man bmw you will understand better more in my next slide now as you can see here this is the air servo motor which is been operated by air pneumatic air the signal for air admission is been provided by the reversing mechanism okay means whenever the signal is given either ahead or aston direction at that time the air through the air reversing cylinder will come and will actuate the follower to the required direction now let's see what i have written here in a head motion as you can see in this picture the fuel pump cam follower in the ahead position with the cam shaft rotating anti clockwise in this picture the cam is at the start of injection so what we are seeing here that suppose in ahead direction 
the engine is running in anti clockwise direction in anti clockwise direction the engine is riding in a, a direction at that time the follower is been placed on the ahead cam peak by the reversing cylinder air admission which is pushing the follower to the peak of the ahead cam now as i have told you that one peak is ahead and one peak is astern so here this one is ahead and therefore the follower is shifted to this point and right now this is the beginning of the injection now suppose at this point the at this point the astern motion is given suddenly so again it should also be the beginning of injection for that for that how they are compensating they are shifting the they are shifting the follower follower by the shifting the follower you can see here this the follower was in this direction now the follower is in this direction the air admission is controlling the follower okay now let's see what is happening as we can see in this picture to reverse the direction of engine the servo motor pull the cam follower across so that it now rise on the cam which is rotating in the clockwise direction so the follower has now pulled means the pushed and pulled of the follower is been carried out by the reversing air servo motor this reversing air servo motor is now pull the follower at that time it is shifting to the astern peak cam and now it is again at the beginning of the cam okay so i hope you understand in astern direction the engine is rotating in clockwise motion and earlier it was in push condition in this peak of the ahead cam now as the reversing servo motor has pushed it it is shifted to the astern direction of the peak cam and again it is at the beginning of the injection okay now one question come to our mind is that okay means reversing servo motor has whether completed its action or not how we will come to know so this is been acknowledged by the indicator light which is provided in the engine room or in the local control panel indicating okay means the green one indicating okay this this, this camshaft has completed its reversing mechanism and this is the reversing servo motor on the man bmw two stroke engine which is carrying out the thing means this is the this part this part okay this part is the this thing which is pushing and pulling the follower now one more thing i want to tell you that the whole reversing mechanism need not to be completed need not to be completed once the ahead signal is given it may happen that you have given the ahead signal and you have seen only four or five light it means that the reversing of five cylinder is completed but not the not all but once the engine started to rotate in air at that time all will be completed and the will be completed and fuel will be admitted on individual unit so why it is like so means that once the signal is given it is not getting completed on every unit because at that time it may happen that engine is not at its peak the cam is not at its peak some of the cam may be on its base so when it come to at peak position at that time the follower switch micro switch will get activated okay so i hope this idea is clear now i hope you have understand how man bmw reversing mechanism is been carried out in the man bmw engine so this was the part 3 of the reversing mechanism and here the reversing mechanism series is completed i hope you like it please share with your friend and please subscribe please subscribe to keep me encouraged to make such video image case goes to mainresult.co.uk thank you friend